Good evening. Welcome back to At the Kitchen Table. I'm Lady Faustina Andrews, and I'm glad you're here. If you're stopping by for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Listen, people of God, I need your help. Would you be so kind as to like, comment, subscribe, and to share this video? I believe that God will bless you for it. I certainly will thank you for it. And I believe that it will help us to get the gospel spread just that much faster, okay? So if you would do that, like, comment, um, subscribe, and to share. Tonight, a real quick word i'm going to be going into um the song of solomon in the second chapter in the 15th verse i'm going to be reading that and then just sharing this word i i really believe it will bless you tonight so it says take us the foxes the little foxes that spoil the vines for our vines have tender grapes our vines have tender grapes you know i went on to study a little bit about foxes the baby foxes because it says the the, the um, small foxes is what destroys the um, vines and i learned that they are very very cute they're very adorable so much so that one might be tempted to even bring one and bring it into our home as a pet but in doing so there was a caution that even though it's adorable and it's cute and looks like it's a whole lot of fun may even allow you to feed it a couple of berries or whatever that they're quite mischievous they are things that they get into, they start to disrupt, start to tear down, and this sort of thing. Now, I do realize that there has been someone who has breeded foxes to domesticate them, but that does not take away from the natural um, characteristics of the fox itself. A fox itself, you know, when we look in the scripture, um, he is, first of all, the fox is akin to a dog. It's in the same family as a dog. Although it may have certain characteristics as a cat, um, it's in the dog family. And every time we read into scripture regarding a dog, it's nothing good. It's all negativity. And even when the reference is made to a fox um, in other places in scripture, it's talking about um, from an aspect of being manipulative and being sly and slick. Um, so when when the scripture tells us that you know we gotta we gotta take care of this fox because what's gonna happen say that he's gonna tear the vines up and the grapes that are on the vine are tender but it says to me that we need to address um, things when they come into our lives that do not align themselves with the word of God and are contrary um, to God's will for our lives that we need to address them while they're small. When we first recognize that we have something uh, going on or a situation or circumstance or we might have a particular thing that we like or that we enjoy, but when we first learn that that is un, um, unhealthy for our spiritual life, then we need to get rid of it then. We don't want to wait until the small fox turns into a big fox because look at what the small fox does. He is able to accomplish um, it, he's going to take away, he's going to spoil the what, the tender, we got these tender new um, grapes. In other words, and I could say that is um, an unlearned Christian, for instance, or someone who may be on the outside that is watching you that does not necessarily um, know the way and they are observing you. So if you allow that fox to, to be active in your life, that little bit of fox, then he's going to come in and what is he going to do? He's going to have to trample down the vines in order to get to the grapes. And when he does that, um, he's causing damage and the damage will cause what? The harvest to be damaged. And so what is our goal? Our goal is to be able to present to God a healthy and a whole harvest. But if we allow small foxes to come in and we don't correct them or get rid of them at the beginning of the thing, then it's going to hurt the pro productivity um, for the kingdom in the long run. And so um, when we look at this, we can really apply it to many aspects in our own lives. We can use it in the workplace. You know, you ever seen that person that, that does things that are inappropriate and is allowed to get away with it? If that behavior does not catch on and become commonplace, then normally what will happen is that it will be, begin to bring about dissension and strife in the workplace because why this person is, um, is allowed to bring these little behaviors that 
that are not positive. And so what is it doing? It's causing the productivity to go down. It's causing a hindrance. When we look in um, our personal lives, little things, you know, that we think may be harmless. Oh, I'm not hurting anybody but myself. Oh, it's just me. Nothing really, it's nothing we could really do that will only just bring harm to ourselves. We are in this whole big world. So most oftentimes, I can hardly think of any situation to where we are bringing or allowing ne negativity into our own lives, a negative behavior to where someone is not affected by it. So we have to get away from thinking that this is just my little thing here and I'm just going to keep it over here for me and I'm, and it's not going to cause any harm or hurt to anyone. Anytime that we are um, exemplifying or, or in an area to where it's not aligning with the Word of God and it's not beneficial to the kingdom of heaven, then it's automatically going to bring something, some form of harm, of harm. So be mindful to take care of whatever that fox may be, wherever aspect of your life it may be um, touching or visiting that small fox. Catch it at the beginning. Catch it at the, at the young, tender stage of it. Get rid of it address it and be done with it because if you don't according to this scripture in song of solomon's 2 and 15 what's going to happen he's going to smoke he's going to spoil the vine the vine is going to suffer if you don't attend to the small faults okay so i hope this has been a blessing to you Again, I want to encourage you to like, comment, subscribe, and to share. I also want to invite you to Lady Faustina Media on my Facebook page. There I share a scripture um, every morning. I try to get them out fairly early. So perhaps you will be able to use that towards your um, morning devotion and just give us a good kickstart in the spirit. Until next time, I'll meet you back at the kitchen table. And again, thank you for stopping by. God bless you.